So you're doing your prepping and everything else and you want to figure out how can I kick it up a notch. I feel very comfortable in everything that I've been doing and I have covered all my basics as far as getting the canned goods and everything. So I have my meat products. I have, they don't want to stand up, do they? I have my meat products and I have my vegetables. I have canned potatoes. I have my rice, my beans. I have flour, sugar, salt, spices, and everything else that I may need. You know, I feel really good about what I have put up that I know that I can make some really good meals and in case of an emergency for my family. Now, how do I kick it up a notch? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is how you can kick it up a notch. You can go to your freeze dried foods. Now, you need, really need to pay attention to sales when you're buying your freeze dried foods. I buy these single little pouches of Mountain House <clears throat> and I get these at Walmart. They're eight, I think they're eight ninety eight a piece. All right, that's for one meal okay actually it feeds you can get two meals out of it if you follow the calorie count and servings okay so that's something you really want to pay attention to so in this one pouch you could feed two people all right you see what i'm saying here now when you are looking at your freeze-dried foods there is a wide a range that is out there and there's a lot of great products there's a lot of great companies you know, it's all in what you can afford. Now you can buy um, like this here as a 72 hour kit, all right? Now, I did get this when I bought these, uh, Patriot had them on sale, you bought one, you got one free. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to some of these uh, websites of some of these companies that do do the freeze dried foods and meals and sign up for like their newsletters and stuff like that because they'll send you these sales and that's how i got this so i bought one it's a 72 hour meal in one pouch all right and i got one free all right i got free shipping it cost me 33 dollars, and i got two of them which is a very very good deal now you can buy these at walmart and you can also buy the backpack and pantry Okay, now I haven't actually tried these. I have read some reviews on them and they didn't get very bad reviews. So I figured I'd buy a few and just to have them on hand because they did have them on sale. Now you can also go to the, not to the store, you can go online and you can buy your standard MREs. Now any of you military people out there, you know what these suckers are. A lot of people, you know, I know that are in the military say that they would never eat those again, even if it was the last thing to eat. Um, I have tried those. Me and my son did a video quite a long time ago uh, because he purchased some of these and when he was down here in Florida and we did a video together and we tried them out and I have to say they were pretty damn good. So for the money, you know, you're getting a meal right in a bag, you know, they're easy to heat up. It's just another way to do it. Now, you wanna make sure that you're covering your basics though. You have to make sure that you start with your canned goods and your dry goods and all those type of things before you move to this because this can get very expensive very quickly. The trade-off is, is yes, you pay for this, but these are good for 25 to 30 years. See what I'm saying? So as a beginner and you're starting to do your prepping, you wanna make sure that you start with what you can afford to do. So your best bet is to start with all your canned goods and dry goods, spices and flour, sugar, salt, and all that kind of stuff. Do all that first. And then when you wanna start kicking it up a notch, you can start transferring over to some of these products. This way here, you have something as a real emergency backup 
if something really bad did happen and you went through whatever it is that you may have put up. Two weeks supply is a minimum. You know, you want to do a three months, you could do a six month, nine month, a year, whatever you feel that you need to do for you and your family and where you have the space to store this. Because you need to remember, you need to store all those type of things in a cool, dry place. Okay? Don't be storing the stuff in your hot garage, in a damp basement, um, anywhere like that. It's got to be inside in a cool, dry place. And this way here, you can maximize your shelf life of your canned goods. Now, also remember that the date that is on the canned goods is only the best buy date. It's not a date that says you have to throw it in the trash can. So many people do that and they just throw the stuff in the trash can and you're throwing your money out the window. So, you know, certain things don't last as long. Fruit, for one. Um, another one would be anything with tomato or tomato sauce. You just have to make sure that you're watching the cans. If they start to bulge or anything, don't even bother opening it, throw it right in the trash can. You know, if they're starting to rust, I'd be very leery about that. You know, you could open it and see if it smells okay. You know, a good thing is to smell it and just take a small taste and see what you get because you don't know. But then you fall back to these, you know. So these are regular like 30 some odd dollars online through Patreon, okay. Mountain House, I can get those in a single um, at Walmart for $8.98. I think the, the, the Backpackers Pantry was right around that same price, eight, nine bucks. Now some of them vary in prices depending on which one you're going to get. Um, they may be a little bit more and they might be a little bit less. Usually it's like a dollar more or a dollar less at Walmart. Now your MREs and stuff, those can get pretty expensive, but usually you are buying like a 12 pack all in one shot. So you may pay uh, anywhere between 50 and 70 bucks for those. You just have to watch for the sales. Um, he did order these off Amazon and we got them through them. And I think they were like $65 for 12 meals and two bonus packs. So, you know, you just have to figure out what you can afford and what you can do. You know, there's a lot of different companies. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Now you have to remember the reason why it's so expensive is because it is freeze dried food. It costs a lot of money to freeze dry food. If you don't believe me, go online and look up how much a freeze dryer will cost you. Not a de dehydrator, a freeze dryer. They're gonna run you like anywhere between three and $7,000. They're very expensive, all right? And it's a process that has to be taken. You know, there's a certain way you have to do things. So that is why when you're getting something that lasts for 25 or 30 years why you're paying so much for the product. Now, like I did say, <clears throat> I have had the beef stroganoff of Mountain House and I have to say that it is out of this world, it's really good. I haven't had any of the other brands, um, uh, you know, the, the, the different meals, uh, except for the beef stroganoff. Um, they do have a nice selection, even at Walmart. Uh, Amazon has a nice selection and like I said go right to the websites of a lot of these different companies and just Google you know freeze-dried food and see what you come up with because you're gonna see that there is a ton of people out there our companies and they are making all these different products and they are very well made they're very well um, packaged you don't have to worry about repacking them or doing anything special to them or anything else as long as you store them in a cool, dry place. Remember that, okay? I know I'm going to get comments and everything else. Well, how long will they last if I do this or do I have to store them in this or that? You don't have to do anything with them except for store them in a cool, dry place. They are already packaged, most of them, in like Mylar bags. And all you have to do is, and most of these, is just add hot water or heat them up. 
The MREs, <clears throat> you just heat them up um, with hot water. You can um, take and from what one of my uh, army buddies told me was, is what they used to do was, is they would take these things out before they were ready to eat them and they would slide them down their shirt and put it next to their body, okay? And their body temperature would warm these packs up enough to where you could just open it up and chow it down real quick and then keep moving you know so it wasn't like it was overly hot but it wasn't cold either so this would be kicking it up a notch with your preps this is going to cost you a little bit more money well, actually it's going to cost you a lot more money but make sure that you're starting off with your basic preps all your canned goods and everything else and you're covering all your bases there and once you feel comfortable at that point then start doing some research and finding out what is the best way for you now usually what i do is is i'll buy one of these a week i'll throw it onto the grocery order and i get one a week so it's an extra 10 bucks a week just for say you know we'll just round it off it's an extra 10 bucks a week and I get one of these. And there's two meals in the, one of these pouches. And Mountain House has a very um, good review and everything else on Amazon. Um, there are several different companies on Amazon. Um, the prices of these products are starting to go up uh, just because of the situation that we are in and what we are dealing with. So just be aware of that. But this is another way that you can kick it, kick your preps up a notch if you want to go to the next level and keep going and make sure that something did happen and you ran out of your canned goods and stuff you have something to fall back on that if it's stored properly you got it for 25 or 30 years so this is survival preparedness for beginners i hope this video helped everybody out on kicking your preps up a notch until next time i'll catch you all on the flip side